Hey there guys, this is B. West Jr. from Endurance Productions coming at you again with another uh, laid back video in the old series horror vlog, um, part 4. Um, I did come up with another topic this time guys, and there again, just lay down the rules, no fancy cuts, no fancy editing, if I screw up, I screw up. Um, this is more of a vlog style uh, type video since we're just goofing off here, so let's keep it informal, so if anybody wants to Please uh, send your video responses, comments, just fire away. That's what this whole video series is about, just to get everybody more of a community feel, get everybody's ideas out there and just kind of have fun with it and kind of nerd out a little bit and uh, talk about the horror genre and different topics therein. Um, just to kind of get right into the meat of the matter here, guys, it took me a little while to come up with another topic because there's so many good ones uh, within the horror genre. But I was going through the uh, collection the other day back here, looking through a bunch of uh, horror movies, science fiction movies I haven't watched in a while, and kind of getting ideas, throwing around some things in my head. And I kept thinking about a couple of uh, movies that I haven't seen in a while, and I kept thinking, man, that's got some wild camera angles in that movie. How did they do that? Was it a dolly shot, or was it that? Then it just kind of dawned on me like an epiphany. It happened. Um, the next topic for today is going to be on cinematography within the horror movies or horror genre. Um, I'll put a notation down here on the screen for the acceptable Webster's Dictionary uh, definition of cinematography, but uh, in a layman's definition, the best way I can explain it in my own terms, um, cinematography is the art of using the camera to help the director tell the story in the movie, giving it different angles, different uh, ways to use the camera with uh, different technology involved. Uh, all kinds of lenses, uh, wide angles, uh, filters that you can use. It, it encompasses all of that camera work, basically, for, for the movie that's being made. And uh, basically, that's just, it's something that's always fasc fascinated me a little bit, is cinematography. The way that you can take different cameras and do different, uh, do different ideas, get different angles, different kind of shots, and just kind of you know, just you kind of get a feel for it after you do your own videos, the way you like to shoot something. If I'm just sitting here talking right now, I like to just put it on a tripod right in front of me and just talk to the camera. If I'm out in the yard and I like to do a bunch of moving shots, I like to do I like panning and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, that's beside the point. I guess the, the meat of the matter for this cinematography topic would be, who is your... Uh, favorite cinematographer or director of photography, whichever title you like to apply to it, um, and why. Of course, that's the, that's the ultimate reason for Horror Vlog, is to find out your reasons why, and basically defend your answer a little bit, and just tell everybody what you think about it. Myself, I got to looking at the shelf back here, not only with horror, but with other movies, just trying to think about a particular cinematographer that I keep coming back to that I really like. Guys, it was kind of like the horror director video that I did in the vlog series uh, not too long ago. There's so many different ones out there, I couldn't pick just one. Um, so what I, the way I decided to approach it, and I recommend you guys do the same, is just pick the one that pops in your head the first the first time around, and that's usually the one that just it's you know the most obvious. So I've got to say the person that I like behind the camera the most in these type of movies. Just the style that I that appeals to me the most is the works of, of a guy named Dean Kundi, who you'll probably know from a lot of James, uh, excuse me, uh, John Carpenter movies, and uh, I mean a lot of his earlier films. He has these cool angles where he'll he'll do like waist high shots of uh, like Michael Myers or you know any of these characters like in The Thing. They do all these different shots going down hallways and. He just gives a real creepy feel to his movies. That's that's the best way I can explain it. Um, kind of an odd feeling, you know. You kind of feel like somebody's act. You're in the mind of the killer. You're walking around. You're stalking. You're stalking the victim. You know. Anyways, I just like his work not only in the horror genre, but I did some research. This guy's been around forever, guys. Dean Cundey has done work on all different types of movies. I mean, anything from comedy to action, science fiction, of course, horror. Um, I don't think he's worked with James, or excuse me, I don't know why I keep calling him James today. I don't think he's worked with John Carpenter in a while, but um, I think a lot of his earlier works through the 70s, 80s, and 90s is probably the bulk of his work that just it stands out and you'll, 
you'll know it after you watch a few of his movies that he's done the DP work or director of photography work on the movie. Um, you can kind of get a feel for it, for it without even seeing the credits. A lot of times, a lot of the older movies that I put in, I'm sitting there thinking, you know, I didn't catch the credits, I just put it in, the, the folks were here watching it for a little while, and I wander into the room, I'm like, I start staring at the screen, I'm like, no, oh, that's Dean Cundy work right there, I know, just because of the way that the camera moves. So, now I'm rambling on a little bit, but guys, the main topic there again, cinematography, who is your favorite cinematographer and why? Give some reasons why, I prefer video responses, it doesn't have to be the most pampered uh, professional looking video, you want to webcam it, go ahead, uh, laptop webcam it, do whatever, live direct feed, anything will be accepted. Um, there again, if that's not your thing, drop a comment below, let us know it. There again, this is Horror Blog 4 on cinematography, and who is your favorite cinematographer and why. There again, folks, hope it's a decent topic, and like I've said before, if uh, we get some good views on these uh, horror vlog videos and some good, uh, some good joining in by a lot of folks from different areas or a lot of different views and comments and ideas, We'll probably keep the series going a little bit, at least until we get up there to 10 or above. I don't know if it'll go that far. We'll see how it goes. But let me know what you guys think. More importantly, put your ideas below or on a video. Let me know what you think. Take care, guys.